Hi guys, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now we're just in Poundworld Plus and I want to show you some new bits they've got coming in. Um, the, here we've got a mermaid um, desk essential set and it's got pens, pencil sharpeners, rubbers, little notelet sets in there. Now none of the prices are actually out at the moment so just literally putting them out but I wanted to show you anyway. There's a little pen pot there which has got sort of a mermaidy sparkly effect. Then we've got um, like a pencil case type bag or like a ziplock bag here with um, a unicorn. We've got some different coloured pens there and a rubber and there's some pencils too. And then we've got a couple of um, notebooks here. These are like the ones that are similar to um, the works that were £4. Um, that's a fluffy unicorn one in the purple and they've got it in the pink as well. Then moving on, they've got these unicorn books with um, a rainbow pencil there and then here we've got some notebooks so these are a four size and they're lined so again I'm sorry I can't give you a price but they are literally just going out and then we've got two of the A5 notebooks as well there with the same design these say create your own magic um, again they're A5 but it's just one um, A5 size and then here we've got a set which has got, um, it says it's a mermaid study pack. So you've got a large A4 book there with a um, pencil case, a pen with a little fluffy thing on the end, a rubber and um, a couple of um, pencils there. Then here we've got a unicorn pen which has got 10 different colours on the top there that you can press down. And on the mermaid theme there's a pack of two pens there. One's silver and one's the same um, mermaid scale effect. And then I'll just show you these as well. Here we've got six mermaid pencils, all again the same pastel colours with the um, like holographic pencils. Here we've got um, a bag that's um, mermaid design again with a little tassel on the end. Um, again, there isn't a price, but I'm presuming they're around about a pound. Then moving on, we've got some forest friend things. Here's a fluffy pencil case there, which is multicoloured. Then we've got some scented gel pens. We've got some five colouring pens and one magic pen there which is for three plus but they look quite nice at the back there i think i might pick those up for phoebe there's some scented pencils at the back and some sparkly pencils there as you move down there's the same kind of pen but in a different design and there's some scented markers too and um, i don't know they're five plus i don't know if they've got patterns on or if they're just scented and there's also some velvet pencils with like um, a velvety effect so they're really nice, quite impressed with that. It's just some nice bits and bobs. Right down the bottom, we've got some felt sheets. Now these are priced, they're a pound. We've got some coloured paper there, um, some white card. Then we've got some A4 holographic paper, which would be good for your, your crafting. There's some glitter card and some pastel paper there. Ebs has um, spotted this pencil here, which has got a unicorn on the top. And I think there's um, some blue ones down here, if we just look down this bit. And there's a blue one as well and a purple at the back there, if you can see. They're a pound and the fluffy pens are a pound as well. Let's have a quick look around the crafty bit. Sometimes they have some nice craft pads in here, but there's, there doesn't seem to be much in stock at the moment. Um, let's have a look up. Most of it I think we've probably seen before. There are some different card making bits and bobs and embellishments they've got in. With some little pearl butterflies there, some little jeweled daisies. Um, there's some hessian ribbon, a few of these we've seen before, now they're really sweet, look craft embellishments that are shaped as a sign as buttons, they're really cute, there's some beads there as well, and then we've got some adhesive ribbon at the top there in all different um, patterns and colours, which is also really quite sweet and that's a pound, that's good for scrapbooking. They've got loads of um, socks and um, slippers in at the moment i mean there's a pack of five socks there for three pounds and um, there's also some patterned ones at the top there with pizza and football and bits and bobs like that some gloves this kind of weather gloves are always handy and moving down there there's some kids socks as well and hats if the kids are looking for some wellies there's some wellies down there for a fiver Here's a creative card kit which um, has got some bits and bobs to get you started. That's an ideal present, that's five pounds. Here's some nice um, folders here, the leverage folders, again in the same decoration. So you've got the two different style styles there in the mermaid finish. They are just coming out so I'm not sure on that price either. 
Okay, we've got various um, bits on the Mother's Day section there. There's um, a photo frame um, with pegs on it there that you can put bits and pieces on. Um, they've also got this um, bamboo needle and knitting set, which is £5, so you get your huge um, knitting um, needles there. And some wool. And you've got um, a Love You Mum book. Um, just moving up, there's various bits and pieces. There's some photo coasters, so if you want to put some photos um, in for your mum there, three pounds. And some lolly sets there. I've got some grandma mugs. There's some wine glasses. That at the top there says, says don't ask, bad day or good day at the bottom. So you fill it to how you need. <laughs> Here we've got some mum vouchers. So you can give out good vouchers. And there's um, various other bits and pieces up there as well. Again, they've got lots and lots of gardening bits and pieces in as um, B&M had. Um, and they've still got their Easter bits. Um, I've got some Easter projects on the go at the moment, so I'm just waiting for a couple of other things that I can need to get for those. There's a solar dancing chick and a bunny as well. They're one pound. Moving on, we've got some Easter bunting that's 150. Um, various things like masks, Easter basket sets for kids. Um, these are some little Easter basket sets as well. Now that's nice, that's pretty glitter, isn't it? All the sort of um, Eastery colours in the sort of pastel tones. And there's an Easter craft box. Moving on, um, we've got some Easter hats down the bottom there that you can decorate yourself. Um, a little what's it for the garden. So if you're doing any little projects, things like this are quite nice. They're also quite good fun for the kids. Um, that's a stencil set so you can get your actual eggs and you can actually just paint on um, through the stencil so the kids can decorate those so maybe you hard boil an egg and do it that way and again there's some more of the little figurines here the scary rabbits with the red eyes that we saw before um, there's a bag puss egg if you know anybody that likes bag, bag puss what's it say oh it's a cat easter egg is that actually for a cat is that a cat? It is as well. Egg? That's for a cat and that's actually for a dog. Really? Oh, Do you yeah. like them? Hey, we haven't got a cat. Dog? A dog yeah. That's cool. Look, a Scooby Doo Easter egg. Oh my god. They're only a There's pound. I would not want to eat that. That's cool, isn't it? What's this? A white chocolate lamb for two pounds. And then you've got the different sweets. There's some Maltesers, bunnies in there. And there's again, there's more of the chicks. Now we bought, they were cheaper than when I bought mine. They've gone up in price now. What's this here? A little fun mix with sweets and bits and bobs in for two pounds. All right, we'll just have a quick look up here. Here's a draft excluder. Now that says bulldog, but that doesn't look like a bulldog to me. That looks a bit more like a cat. What do you reckon? What is it? A cat? What, what do you it? think it is? Is it a bulldog? It? it says bulldog there on the thing, but I'm sure that's not a bulldog. That is not a bulldog. No. Phoebe, look, do you know what a bulldog nails. is? You don't, do you? No. no. <laughs> but look at my nails. Well, your nails are lovely, both of you. You don't know what a bulldog is, Phoebe. I do. Look, the rat, right, right. Yeah. Like, can I tell you what sausage dogs are? Yeah. They're really long. Sausage dog, and yeah. They look like sausages. They do. Yeah, look, we asked for a bulldog. Yeah. Um, tell us, Phoebe. Around a round little ball. So oh, a ball dog. And then they have a round little head and then... Yeah. Little legs. Are they in the shape of a ball? Yeah, they're in. A so ball so dog. So <laughs> oh, yeah. Buzzer yeah. was a dog. Yeah. So this is like brown bull's body. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the round sausage. That's a round bull. Yeah. So a ball dog is a ball. A ball yeah. dog. What is that actually? Bull dog. What, bull no, what, dog. Is a, what is a bulldog actually? Mummy will show you what a bulldog looks like. Right, tell me. Tell me well, I can't tell you right now. Ebony's going to Google it and show you right now just to confuse. So all the confusion's gone. What do you think? But I think your bulldog is a really good pet and it's very round I'm and saying. bouncy. What have you got on your arm there? No. That is That's a paint from the craft room no, yesterday. Okay. There we go. That's a bulldog. No, I'm not. 
Look, Tom, I know what they look like now. There okay. you go, good girl. <laughs> right, let's have a look down this little section. Now that's all. I'm myself now. Now that confusion's all cleared up. Right, let's have a look at the wall because we have to check out the wall for people. Wall dog, yeah. <laughs> Let's not have any more confusion. What we got here? Um, chunky ombre. That'd make a lovely cardigan, wouldn't it? That. Mum, look at that, Mum. That person in the car park. Aaron. Area. Remember? That's some more ombre. No. That person that had a jacket on that was the colour of the Oh, yeah. What we got here? Chunky. Yeah, we've seen that one. Phoebe's tweed. Phoebe, have you seen all that paint on your sleeve? <laughs> no. No. Fashion. Is it new fashion? New fashion. It's a bit close. Sorry, can you see that? Yeah, I think everybody's seen your paint and that it's new fashion. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh -huh. What we got here? Chunk. That's double yarn. Chunk. Chunky. Not chunk. Chunky, not chunk. Oh, look, that's one of them. I think there. I've given up. We've just popped in to get Chloe a few bits because she's a little bit snowed in. So um, we've just popped to get her a few bits for a rabbit. So we thought we'd have a quick quick look while we're in here and show you what we've got. Even though we weren't planning on doing a video, we thought, well, we'd, we may as well show you a few bits and bobs while we're in here. All embroidery stuff here. There's some of the jumbo knitting needles, look, for a pound and some fuzzy rugs. Right, that's about it, I do think, unless you've got anything else oh, yeah, cause I want this. that you want to show. There's some little bins. Some more up there. Oh, they're quite handy, look, some £1.50. Put your little bits Cotton and bobs in. Pads in. Cotton pads. Right, that's it. One pound fifty. Is that us finished, Phoebes? No, I've lost my slimes. Oh, hang on, then we'll find your slimes. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for coming with us. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.